Welcome back again guys to another wonderful session with me. I am Richard Esemuru from VSA Concept and today I just want to quickly resolve one SSL issue that most persons have. Yes, you get to find out that when you purchase your, your cPanel your, and your details have been sent to you via your email, you get to find out that after setting up your website, you see your website saying not secure here. Your connection to this website is not secure, yes. So many students have complained about this issue and they feel that maybe SSL was not installed on their website. Well, first thing first, I want to show you how to confirm if SSL was installed on your website. This is not how to confirm if SSL was actually installed on your website. I'm going to give you one tool, two ways actually, that you are going to find out if SSL was actually purchased and installed on your website. The very first tool is for you to log into your cPanel. And once you log into your cPanel, as you can see here, I am over here on this cPanel, look at this primary domain path. You are going to see this padlock button and this means SSL has been installed on your website. You get the point? Remember, it is not showing on the front end, on the front of your website. Don't worry, I will show you how to fix that. It's not a problem, okay? But this is one way you can know if SSL was actually installed on your website. That is one way. The second way that you can actually know if SSL was actually installed on your website is for you to go over to one online tool called sssshopper.com. Yes, this is an online tool that helps you to check if SSL was correctly installed on your website. Okay, so all you need to do is copy your domain name and put it on sssshopper.com and I assure you it's going to give you all details if SSL was installed on your website or not. So just come here, click on this and click check SSL. It is going to load up and over here you are going to see that it has checked everything about the website was correct. So it actually gives you the information that SSL was installed correctly on your website. In most cases you are going to see that this certificate will expire in 64 days. Just ignore that it is going to auto renew after it expires. So now I have just showed you the two ways on how to check if your website is SSL secured. So if you have any issues doubting if your website there is an SSL on it, please and please use these tools to find out if your website is actually secured. It is not difficult at all. So now, why are we having this error if SSL was actually installed on this website? Why are we still having this not secure error? It is very, very easy. When you get your domain, SSL certificate was not successfully auto-updated on this domain name. It had been installed on the host, on the cPanel, but it was not auto-updated on the front end. I hope you get that point clearly. What am I trying to say? If we come over to the URL here and put in this domain name without the HTTPS, please observe that there is no S here, and you click enter, the website is still going to load. But naturally, this website is supposed to redirect you to the SSL certificate website. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. It is not supposed to load like this. It is supposed to redirect you to that SSL certificate what? website. To prove to you that SSL is also installed, before you do what I'm going to show you now, why you click on this, why you put this on the domain, put in HTTPS. Make sure you add the S, which means the security, okay? And hit enter. You will find out that it is going to load up the SSL security version of the website. So the problem that we have just dictated is that the um, HTTP version does not auto-reload to the HTTPS version. I hope you get that point. So it is a very, very simple solution, very, very simple thing to fix it. All you need to do is what? Go and set up a redirect for this, your website. So all you need to solve this problem is head on to your cPanel and go over to the category called domain. This is category called domains and come over to redirect. So what we want to do now is to redirect every entry that is put in here for SSL security to be added to it. Very, very easy. Okay. So over here, you leave this type as permanent 301. Over here, click on the domain and click on the domain that you want to enter. Now, if the website you have installed is in a directory, for example, slash anything.com, you have to put in the directory here for you to redirect that website. 
But since we are doing it on this main domain, we will leave that part as empty. Now, where do you want this redirect to go to? It should go to where? The SSL secured website. So you have to just copy the website and put in the SSL security. See, this now does not have the security. HTTPS. So just add S to this. Once you add S to this, guys, you are good to go. Now, make sure you click on this check button, redirect with or without www. So whether they put in www or they do not put it in here, make sure that they redirect it to this what security website. After doing that, make sure you click on white card redirect and then you click on add. I tell you guys, this is the simple fix to whatever SSL security problem you have, provided that you have come to SSL Checker and SSL is installed on your website. So please and please do this now for your own one particular website if you have these errors and I assure you that this problem will be solved. Before we go, let us see if it actually works. To actually verify that this has worked perfectly, let me open in another incognito window so that we put this in. Now observe that there is no S here. Okay, now hit enter. So once you hit enter, automatically it is going to do what? Install the, it's called the installed SSL security. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe and share this video so everyone else can benefit from this. Thank you so, so much guys. I appreciate you and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.